want to start out by saying good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon. I trust you've had a wonderful day today. Let us pray. Our Father and God, we thank you, O oh God, for all that you continue to do for us and has done for us. We ask, O oh God, that you please forgive us for our sins, strengthen us where we're weak, build us up where we're torn down, Lord. Father, if we need you, we know we need you. But Father, if we know that we're in need of salvation, we pray, O oh God, we know there is a way to be saved today. And it is through the blood of Jesus Christ, through being baptized and being added into his kingdom. You come by hearing the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through uh, 4. Uh, you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Of course, uh, that's what the Ethiopian eunuch uh, confessed in Acts the 8th chapter, um, 36 through uh, uh, 40, uh, uh, 47. Uh, uh, you also know that in Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, Without faith it is impossible to please him. He that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. As they did on the day of Pentecost and, and the third part in Acts 2 uh, and 38, it says, Repent. We have to repent. Hear, believe, and repent. It says, Repent and be baptized in Acts 2 38. And that's what they did in the first century. And uh, according to Acts 2 and 47, they were added to the New Kingdom Church. Then you must make a mouth confession. You must confess. That's what the Ethiopian eunuch did in Acts, the eighth chapter, in verse 36 uh, through 47. Again, um, he said that he believed that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And it's the same confession that saved uh, him. Um, uh, and, and it was in route to salvation which is in Romans 10 and 47, the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Matthew 10, 32 and 33 says, Whosoever confess before men, him will I confess before my Father which is in heaven. But he that denies me before men, him will I deny before my Father which is in heaven. Also the disciples in Matthew 16, in verse 13 through 19, confess that Jesus, uh, Peter said that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. The confession oak and that uh, Jesus confessed was the one he confessed before um, uh, the uh, Sanhedrin when he was um, condemned by them uh, for confessing that he is the Son of God. This confession, which brought death to Jesus it, and it brought death to so many, will bring eternal life to you. Also, you must be baptized into Christ. Jesus says, uh, in Matthew uh, 6, uh, 28, uh, 19 through uh, 20, he told his disciples to um, go and teach this throughout the, the world. Also in Mark 16, 15 and 16, he told them uh, as well. Also, you see the conversion there in Acts 2 and 38, uh, where they, they did that for remission of sins in Acts 2, 38. These things, Lord, we pray, O oh God, those who wants to be saved, that they'll be able to pursue this in as they want to become members of the Lord's church. I ask, O oh God, that some things I'll be able to say in these few minutes that will encourage the hearts of many who are hurting, those who are struggling, O oh God, and who want to be uh, in faith with you and rely on you, who lives are dark, who lives are troubled, and who lives are in chaotic um a blessed we pray god this in the name of jesus christ we pray amen today we want to look at genesis chapter one verse number two it says uh on yesterday of course we looked at in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and then if you look at verse number two it says in the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and it says the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters now God as we pointed out yesterday God is creation he's a creator he creates positive energy he creates a uh, positive beautiful uh, phenomenons he create positive spirits he's a uh, refreshing um, he is the source of pure happiness and spiritual energy. Um, on the other hand, this creation, this creator, 
God, Almighty God, in verse 1, it says, in the beginning, he created the heavens and the earth. And then it backs up in verse 2, it says, and the earth was without form. In other words, the earth, without God's creation, the world was <clears throat> chaotic. It was void. I mean, it had nothing. It was it was it was like vapors of smoke and and just, you know, it was just chaotic. And it says without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. In other words, it was it was a very scary situation. Darkness, formless, void, empty, unorganized. And this is how, in that <clears throat> mannerism, the same way our lives is without God. Without God, we are disorganized. We're somewhere in a dark place. You know, you, you hear people like, I can't believe this person is doing this or have done that. That's because they don't have God in their life. <clears throat> if you don't have God in your life, you will go to a dark place because your mind will become dark. Because you don't have this positive energy from the almighty in your mind guiding you <clears throat> working with your mind so if you don't you disconnect from god you will go to a dark place in your mind just right here just your decisions will be dark they'll be skewed with uh just like they were in uh, as, as we'll talk about later on in some other verses but just sticking right here in verse two it says <clears throat> And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the, of the deep. And it says, and the spirit of God moved upon the face. of the, So God was evaluating. He was assessing what he needed to do to turn this, this um, disorganized, dark, um, chaotic world into the beautiful world it is today. And just like right now, God, his word is talking to us. It's letting us know that, hey, you don't have to uh, go through your struggles, your, your challenges on your own. Some of you out there right now are really struggling. You don't have to go through that on your own. Um, <clears throat> God can bring you from that dark, dark um, area that you're in right now in your life. You know, that chaotic, stressful, painful, depressive life. He can transform that. He can transform that and make you the beautiful person that um, inwardly that uh, um, um, and make you see that beautiful person inwardly because it is commune with God. God forgives. God restores. God erase. God give peace, not chaos. God. Um, <clears throat> loves he don't hates god uh, rewards and, and god god has mercy he's caring uh god is not a uh he don't criticize god um um he 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 he, he restores us and so today that's what i want you to be able to look at <clears throat> when you look at um these first two verses and kind of bring them in together you'll begin to see that um god played a big role in making the world as beautiful that's why the sunlight like right now uh, looking outside i can see the beautiful uh, sky and how peaceful it is that's why when you look out over the ocean and you see the sun and you you hear the the waves coming it, it's just so peaceful that's because god created god created that he created that 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 we call it that that um amb that ambience seen god created that and that's what god does so hopefully these words were encouraging for you today um lord's will i'll be right back with you tomorrow as we continue to look through um uh and look at uh encouraging us here in 2020 despite all of the challenges that we got going on in the world god is still in control don't give up your faith on god god got this and god is good for you just got to give yourself to him and trust him. You be blessed. Have a wonderful day.